before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. So who here feels snubbed? or scammed even though you didn't buy anything. This was the Facebook post that advertised for the makeup recipes for this particular makeup. The original suit that this makeup came from was from Dusk and Dawn and she looks like this over here, stunning. I love how the background is animated, how she has different eyes. So this was actually what I considered an affordable dupe for Jingle Kitty because Jingle Kitty had the cutest makeup that I really wanted. Oh, do I not have Jingle Kitty? Okay, turns out I don't have Jingle Kitty, but Jingle Kitty had the cutest makeup because one of the eyes was blue and the other eye was yellow. And I love that a lot. So when Dusk and Dawn came, I was really excited because that meant that I had a chance to get a makeup with just diamonds. Like I didn't have to real life currency. So this was an amazing suit to have and it's really fun to play with. And recently, as you saw, Love Nikki developers advertised for the makeup of this one where there would be darker skin tones that we could have crafted. Everybody was so excited because we don't come by dark makeups a lot. Usually they're quite expensive, but before I continue on with that, can you guys guess how many dark skin tones or dark skin tone outfits we have on Love Nikki? I'll give you three seconds to guess. One, two, three. There are 11! So Modern Queen was from the Barbie event and guess what? It's exclusive. It's limited. So that means if you didn't get it when you had the event, then too bad. You don't have a chance to ever get it again. And I think that's so dumb because it's actually one of the prettiest makeups that I've seen in game. Like look how pretty she is. Stunning! Absolutely stunning. And then we had the Space Fantasy one and guess what? Again, it was also limited. So these two makeups, you can't even get any more. So that's two out of the 11 gone. So now we're left with nine. And the next one we have are from Apple Kingdom. It's our very iconic Street Extreme one, which I love so much. It's so cute. Love the bubble gum. Love her skateboard and her tattoos. I also love Hip Hop Queen. She is just fierce in her own way. So definitely 10 out of 10. I was so excited when I crafted her. These two you can craft with diamonds right now. Another Apple suit that we had was Youth Storm. And everybody's familiar with this one because this is one of the first suits and first items you get in the game. For this one, I remember her to be kind of expensive, but what I did like about her was her makeup. Again, her makeup was honestly breathtaking. I love the turquoise slash green in her eyes. She's currently unavailable to craft right now, so that's three makeups out of the 11 darker skin tone outfits that we don't. Moving along, we have more Wasteland suits, so these ones you can still craft. It's Phantom in Desert and Golden Shadows, so I was kind of annoyed trying to find this in the wardrobe because I recall seeing them. Like, I remember seeing darker skin tones. But when I went to Wasteland, um, I saw her, which was fine. Then I was just like, huh. Where are they? I can't find them because I was trying to filter out any lighter skin tones. And then I realized that this one, they made her lighter skin tone the default. But I swear it was originally like this. Like if you went to your wardrobe, you would have seen her like this. For her, same thing. It just baffles me. And then this one was a recharge. So if you were a V0 player, then you would be unable to get this. So that's technically kind of four-ish makeups out of the 11. Now we have Star Fantasy and it's one of my favorite suits ever. She's so cute. She has the coolest hairstyle. I love all her background items and her pose is absolutely absolutely adorable. I have to admit though, everybody had kind of an issue with her because the more you look at her, the weirder she looks. As in her makeup is already weird to begin with. It didn't matter if it was light or dark skinned, like her makeup in general was kind of weird because she had a cat like vibe. But the thing with the darker skin tone over here, it's that I th I'm almost certain they used a blue or grayish undertone so it made her look kind of chalky and I personally don't think that it looked it, like it looks good. And with the very few select of darker skin poses that we have this makeup is practically impossible to use unless you either use this pose or you just use the normal pose which is kind of boring so her normal pose would be this one okay yikes she didn't even get underwear but you get what I mean and the very very last suit that we have is another ruin set and she's called Humanoid Source Code. So she has been AFK for the longest time. Like I didn't even remember that this was a thing. And the event format that came with it was actually atrocious. It was so bad. The concept was terrible. It was so confusing. The majority of people who I talked to 
just didn't like it at all. She's spicy in her own way, but we don't even know when she'll come back. And I'm pretty sure it's been over a year since this event has taken place. So if I could just check my channel real quick. You can see that the last time and the only time it came to our server was in August 4th or around that time period, 2018. It's so sad because that's like five or six makeups that people can't get. And the fact that they kind of advertised it as like, oh, we can get free makeup recipes. Like you kind of assume that if you have a makeup at the very least, you would be able to get ingredients that didn't cost diamonds. So people are saying that it's fair to make it cost diamonds. I will agree with you guys part of the ways. I think that if they wanted to give us recipes, the best thing to do would be to give us a recipe where one of the ingredients is actually the Dusk and Dawn makeup to begin with. Instead of having Cloud Lady, we would swap her out and then we would change it so that you would have the original makeup there and then you can just craft another one and another one and another one. So that way it would be fair to everybody as in you would have to spend diamonds to craft the makeup originally. You would just spend some extra coins to just make the other version of the set. But honestly, they would never do that. It just kind of sucks that if you want these three beautiful makeups, you'd have to spend a thousand freaking diamonds on it. So not to be a complete hater, I want to say that I appreciate Love Nikki developers for actually trying to make new makeup or go back to old makeup and giving us more variety. This reminds me of the time where they actually had a fan made makeup be available for us for free in the game and this makeup was actually the prettiest thing I've seen. She has gold freckles like wow it's so nice and it was free completely free and thank you to Jung Shook on YouTube and her Instagram tag is Tay Love Nikki. She let me know that Moth to Fire was actually in the works of getting more makeup just like the Dusk and Dawn makeup. So if you check in your wardrobe over here, you can just scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you can see that there are darker skin tones for this makeup. And this makeup is also one of my favorite makeups in the game. It's so pretty. She is absolutely stunning. But I have a feeling that she's going to have to cost diamonds again. And it's just so unfortunate if that's the case. Like, look how beautiful this makeup is. A lot of people might think it's like, oh, it's not a paywall. Like, you, you're spending diamonds and you can collect diamonds. But think about how much diamonds it is. That's like 300 something diamonds per makeup. And if you want all three, that's a thousand diamonds. And to buy a thousand diamonds to begin with, it's around $30 Canadian times tax. If you wanted to save up as a V0 player, it's hard to save up to a thousand diamonds without skipping four or five events. I personally think that this is a paywall. If they're going to try to make makeups more inclusive, they should also make it more inclusive money-wise. But yeah, that's what I think and that's my solution. I would love to hear all your guys' thoughts and opinions. And the top comment for the previous video is from Suso Suso. And it actually relates so much to this video because she refers to me saying that it's low-key a scam that they made it or they advertised the makeups for free when it technically it was only the recipes. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will start picking the top comments again. I know I kind of missed one from the ranking video, so I'm just going to put that over here. It's from Winter Wolf, and for sure, boys need diverse hair selection both in color and style. And I think that this should apply in the sense where darker skin tones should have more versatile and more variety in poses in general. So yeah, if you like my content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Bye!